Listen, guys, I understand that you want to win. Get off me! Get off of me! Get off of me! You don't improve by quitting your games, and you will never earn anybody's respect by doing so as well. Not only will you not earn anybody's respect, but you are never going to be able to pull these incredible comebacks if you quit just because things are not looking your way. I was playing arenas with some good friends of mine, and I'm not gonna lie, the start of the rounds were not going our way. And I ain't gonna lie, it was looking down bad for us. But then, things got real. I had to hype my team up, like, yo, we got this. We down zero to two, we can make this comeback. I know what we capable of, let's do this. But I'm not gonna lie, it was not easy. These boys did not go down without a fight. Beginning of the round, it's the first round. I'm lifeline. I got a bloodhound on my team and I got a wraith. Started around these kids pushed heavily. I'm not used to people pushing like that in arenas. I'm going up against a Valkyrie shooting her rockets at me as well as a Loba that's pushing me. Loba's gonna try me, but I have an R99. I shred her. Valkyrie is currently shooting at me. I'm gonna go for the res. I res my teammate in the process. Valkyrie pushes me. I shred her with the R99. Slap her in the face with my heirloom. I get my boy bloodhound up. I get pushed by another bloodhound. I go down. We lose this round. Gotta give the other team credit. They push. I am not used to people in arenas pushing. The people I usually play against like to sit back. I like when they push. I like aggressive teams. So the score is currently zero to one. It's round two. I'm going with my same loadout. I'm rocking the R99. I love that gun. You saw what I just did with it. I'm feeling comfortable with it. I bring it back out along with an Eva. Bloodhound on my team scans. So I'm going to spot them out and I'm going to go ahead and go for a flank. They have another Bloodhound. They scanned us. So they know I'm coming, but I don't care. I'm still going to try to wrap around and see what I can do. Now again, Bloodhound scanned me. So Loba already knows I'm coming up there. But again, just as they're ready, I'm ready. As soon as I hop up there, I put some R99 shots into Loba. Loba gets shredded. My teammate was there to clean that up. But my Bloodhound goes down by Valkyrie. Valkyrie is not playing no games. Shoots up in the air. I'm going to go for the res right now and they are not gonna make this res easy as soon as i go for that i get shot up i place my drone i need to heal up right now i'm trying my best to heal up my wraith ends up going down i try to suppress my teammate and i end up going down we lose that round it's zero to two most people in this situation you're down by two against a team that is applying that pressure straight rushing you and not letting their foot off your neck most people couldn't handle it and they would just simply quit because things are not going in their favor in order to be an excellent gamer you've got to know how to play under pressure just because things currently aren't going the way you want it to doesn't mean that you can't fight back and make the outcome what you want it to be fight hard and get the outcome you want instead of quitting just because things ain't going the way you want it team blue we up all right we want to come back all right you gotta fight together let's get it easy Easy. So y'all heard the confidence. Just gotta believe. I knew we was gonna win this game. I believe we was gonna win this game, which is why it happened. You gotta dig down deep. Don't ever doubt yourself, all right? Then don't ever stop fighting. So it's round three. We down zero to two. You heard the game plan. We're gonna try to stay together and see what happens. So we're all motivated right now. Bloodhound pops his ult. He's just gonna go in there and go crazy. Scans them, starts putting some shots into them. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna move to. I am trying to play this a little passive. We are down. So I'm trying to play this smart. I see somebody shooting at my teammate. So I'm gonna put some shots into him. Hit him for 20. I get pushed by Valkyrie. Valkyrie, this is why you do not push by yourself. Me and my teammate team fire her. We down her. Bloodhound gets it down right now. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I'm out of the game right now. I got to heal up. I'm trying to play very, very safe. I don't want to push with no health, but it looks like that my Bloodhound's going to go down right now. I know my team needs me. Going to pop this shield cell, and I'm just going to rush in there like that. And luckily, she was no health. Teammates, I had already lit her up. I come in there, get the clutch round ending kill, and now it's 1-2. We coming back slowly. 1-2, baby. 1-2. And I don't know if you guys know how Arena works. It goes up to 3. This team only needs one more round. If they win it, they take it all. We lose game over with we're pushing for the tie if we tie it up and it's also win by two so all we have to do is tie the game up to give us some more rounds to come back so we're heading straight to the middle i'm getting shot at right now i don't know where from i try to pop a shield cell but i am not going to be able to pop that in peace one of the enemies have flanked around i push some shots into her i hit her for 91 all her shields are knocked off me and bloodhound push that this is why you don't push by yourself me and bloodhound completely destroy her drop her we go for the thirst our teammate ends up going down i'm trying to pop a shield battery i get lit up i need to heal right now i am getting shot at right now my health is dwindling down i take cover thankfully thankfully i don't go down i hop outside i throw my drone immediately i need to pop the shield battery i need to heal up i need to get back into the fight because my teammates need me i shield battery up i'll go straight in here i need to put my life on the line for my teammate i get the res bloodhound knocks somebody i go for the thirst i get shot at i go in the storm i hit that guy for 116 he knocks out my race but i come in clutch Woo! this is why you don't quit we got a game on our hands folks we have a game two to two win by two it's a game now. Tiebreaker. Focus. Fight. Win. Ah.
Is there a flatline gamers? Let me use a flatline too. Shields. He started. This stuff. Yup, one more. One more. Let's go! Let's go! Good stuff. Stop! We'll do that again. He's hurt on this side. Lobo up there, hurt. Yup, this up. Behind us, I think. Let's go, let's go, let's go! is no joke. This is intense. This is the last round. Winner takes all. Alright, so we got two at the top. Freaking gosh, bro. Oh my goodness. This is why you don't quit. We was down 0-2, came back and won that. That's how you fight to the end. Let's go. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. This video was pretty dang hyped. If this don't motivate y'all to stop quitting, I ain't going to lie. I have my games where I be feeling like quitting. Heck, I done had a few games I didn't got dang quit due to frustration. Let this be motivation to stop quitting because you can come back and get an epic victory like this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This video kind of deserves a million views. It was pretty hype. Not only that, I have a task for y'all. We must get Ray and Day Gaming to react to this. Jay, who's that? I'm pretty sure if you play Apex, you know who bro is. He is the motivational speaker in the beginning of this video who inspired this video in the first place. Guys, at him on Twitter, Instagram, spam his YouTube comment section up. We must get the legendary Ray and Day Gaming to react to this video. Guys, if we get him to react to this video, I'm going to probably cry. Nah, I'm not going to cry. I'm going to be pretty dang hyped. That will complete my 2021. If we can get Ray and Day Gaming to react to this, he don't got to put my link in the description. He don't even got to say who the channel is. I simply just want to see his reaction to this video. Guys, let's make it happen. Add him on Twitter. 
add him on Instagram. I don't care. TikTok, whatever. What, whatever. Spam the YouTube comment section. Let's get it done. Actually, don't spam the YouTube comment section with the link. That's a little self promoting and I think it'll get deleted anyways. Just add the man on Twitter. I just, Randy gave me, please react to this video, please. For real, y'all, let's make it happen. But nah, all jokes aside, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, smash the subscribe button. Most importantly, smash that like button. Completely obliterate that like button. Let's strive to get at least that this video is worthy of a thousand likes. Let's, let's go ahead and get it that high. If you love Apex, subscribe. It's going to be a lot of it on the channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, T-R-J. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.